Everybody from the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Another hot day for the Mid-South area. The forecast in the red bar at the bottom of your screen. Email address at the top of your screen if you'd like to know more about what's going on here or have any suggestions about what to look for or things we could feature on our weather blog called Weather Overtime. Please let us know. We'd like to know more about what we can do to keep you tuning back in for this. We'll be looking at another steamy day today with a chance of an isolated shower and thunderstorm possible across the Mid-South. And also also, again, looking at some pretty warm numbers on the seven-day forecast. We'll show you that coming up in just a little bit. Cough temp decks today are exclusively exclusive and firmly tongue-in-cheek. Your coffee is your business, but recommendation for temperatures on the coffee, probably going to be leaning toward the iced, frothy coolness given the hot conditions out across the Mid-South and pretty steamy out there as well. St. Jude K Research Cam from just north of downtown Memphis on the St. Jude Hospital and Research Center campus looking again had a little bit of sunshine poking its way on through, but mainly overcast skies from downtown. Home of the king of rock and roll, Graceland in Memphis, Tennessee. Sunlight across the area around Elvis Presley Boulevard South, and things looking very quiet. <coughs> Excuse me into the rest of the area as well. A little bit more clouds and some showers and thunderstorms near Ole Miss, so not a lot of people out and exercising for early this morning. So again, if you're going to be heading out the door pretty soon, you may want to go ahead and take the umbrella with you just to be on the safe side. The rest of the day today, we'll be seeing plenty of heat and humidity and the possibility of stronger thunderstorms out across the Mid-South. Earthquakes in the last 24 hours, none to report in the Mid-South. This information courtesy of the United States Geological Survey, earthquakes.usgs.gov or memphis.edu slash CERI or the Center for Earthquake Research and Information. Two great places to go to get some seismic information if you'd like to more information on that. It could always be worse. How do we know that? Well, we have the National Weather Service to tally the hottest temperatures of the country and yesterday, once again, the winter was Death Valley, California at 116 degrees. Kind of pales in comparison to what we saw in the area yesterday back into the lower 90s. So again, remember it could always be worse. High temperature yesterday, spot on normal, so is the low temperature. So about as typically July as you could get for this time of the year. Record high today, 102 set back in 1969. Won't be coming close to that. Would be nice to come close to the record low set back in 1947. Rainfall yesterday, just shy of half an inch. So doing okay for the month and in inch 16 over. And now looking at nine and a half inches plus for the entire year. So very good on rainfall for 2016. Moon is 35% of full, a waxing crescent. And we'll be looking at moonrise today at 12.03, setting tomorrow at 12.18 a.m. and rising on Monday at 12.57 p.m. Losing daylight already. We're moved down one minutes, 59 seconds or so tomorrow. We'll be losing several minutes of daylight into the course of the next several days and weeks out there across much of the area. Shower again across much of the Mid-South today. Ice across long and south of Interstate 40 today and into this afternoon and this evening. If you have outdoor plans, keep that in mind as we look for more chances of showers and thunderstorms out across the area and into tonight as well. So again, no relief from the heat and humidity as we get very warm again on Monday with spotty areas of showers and thunderstorms popping up. So going to the swimming pool or heading out for the grill. Temperatures today mold just a little bit below that back in the lower 90s with stray chances of showers and thunderstorms. Same forecast into Monday, a bit hotter on Tuesday with more chances of showers and thunderstorms possible throughout the rest of this next several days, including into next weekend. Temperatures at or just above of normal for this time of the year. Mid to upper 90s by the time we hit next weekend Sunday and chances of showers and thunderstorms dwindle giving us just hot and sunny conditions by the time we hit next Tuesday or so. For the grill heading out to the backyard things are going to be looking relatively okay but don't forget about those showers and thunderstorms throughout the afternoon and evening and pretty warm and humid out there, so don't forget to have some ice water or something non-alcoholic to ward off the heat and humidity across much of the Mid-South. Out and about this weekend, want to catch up to date on what's going on with the weather, check in with my forecast on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3, and also don't forget you can join us for weather overtime and all kinds of other weather information available at wreg.com weather. We'll be on the air tonight after golf on News Channel 3 at 5, again on News Channel 3 
Area 10, and we'll have a climate update for you via our Videolicious app and give you more details as to what the numbers were for today. As we go throughout the rest of the Sunday afternoon, we'll see what the highs and lows were, any earthquakes across the Mid-South, rainfall, stuff like that. We'll be updating that coming up later this evening, just after about News Channel 3 at 5. Once again, a hot and humid day across the Mid-South. Please take it easy. Be careful out there. Drink with lots of water. Use common safe sense and safety. And also don't forget to remember to get back indoors again. If there's lightning out there, when thunder roars, go indoors. A very good thing to remember from the National Weather Service. Turn around, don't drown as well. Any flash flooding out there, never drive through water-covered roadways. A very good idea. Again, questions, concerns, comments up here. The email address, austin.onic at wrag.com. And thanks for joining us for today's latest edition of News Channel 3's video weather blog, Weather Overtime. We'll have more coming up today on News Channel 3 on air and online, so stay tuned and thanks for joining us.